Here is an A-star question on statics of rigid bodies and we're looking at a ladder problem. A ladder of length 2A and mass M has one end A on smooth horizontal ground and the other end B against a smooth vertical wall. The ladder is kept in equilibrium by a horizontal force of magnitude 1 over 3 mg acting at a point C on the ladder, where AC is equal to half A as shown in the figure above. The angle between the ladder and the vertical wall is theta. By modelling the ladder as a uniform rod, show that tan theta is equal to 1 over 2. This question is worth 7 marks. Pause the video, have a go at the question and then play the video. So how do we approach this particular question? Right, whenever you have ladder problems, you can solve the question by number 1, taking moments, Or, number two, resolving forces, horizontally or vertically. Now, I'm going to label all the forces acting on the ladder. I've got a normal reaction at the point B, which is perpendicular to the vertical wall. I've got a normal reaction at the point A, which is perpendicular to the horizontal ground. The ladder is modelled as a uniform rod, so the weight of the ladder acts at the centre. It is mg. Hence this part is A and this part is A. Now that I've labelled all the forces acting on the ladder, I can go ahead and show that tan theta is equal to 1 over 2. Ladder problems are solved by taking moments or resolving forces horizontally or vertically. I'm going to start off by working out RB and RA. Ladder is in equilibrium implies that the resultant force horizontally or vertically is equal to zero. To find RB I need to resolve horizontally. I'll take right to be the positive direction. The resultant force horizontally is RB minus a third mg, which has to equal zero. Therefore, RB is equal to a third mg. To find RA, I need to resolve vertically and I'll take upwards to be the positive direction. The resultant force vertically will be RA minus mg, which has to equal zero. Therefore, RA is equal to mg. I've got RB and I've got RA. I need to show that tan theta is equal to 1 over 2. If I go back to my options for solving ladder problems, I've got number 1, taking moments, or number 2, resolving forces horizontally or vertically. I've used option 2 to find RB and to find RA. Perhaps now to show that tan theta is equal to 1 over 2, I need to use option 1 which is to take moments. Ladder is in equilibrium also implies that the sum of clockwise moment is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moment. Okay, so now I can pick a point that I'm going to take moments about. I'll take moments about point A. So moments about A. Because the ladder is in equilibrium, we know that the sum of clockwise moment is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moment. Because I'm taking moments about the point A, I need to neglect all the forces acting at the point A. So in this case, I'm neglecting the force RA. If I put my pen at the point A, I can see that the RB force will take the ladder clockwise, the MG force and the 1 over 3 MG force will take the ladder anti-clockwise. The moment of a force is given by the force itself multiplied by the perpendicular distance. To find the moment of the RB force, 
the mg force and the third mg force about the point A, I need to find the distance from the point A to the RB force, to the mg force and to the third mg force that is perpendicular to each of these forces. How do I do this? Well, I can construct three separate right angle triangles. So I've got a right angle triangle for the RB force, right angle triangle for the third mg force, right angle triangle for the mg force. Notice that this angle over here is theta because we can form a z shape. Alternate angles are equal. Hence, if you look at this right angle triangle over here, this angle is theta, it represents this angle. And for this right angle triangle, this angle over here is theta, it represents this angle. We've already calculated RB and it was a third mg. So in brackets, I can just put a third mg. For the RB triangle, the distance from the point A, which is perpendicular to the force, is this one over here. For the third mg triangle, the distance from the point A, which is perpendicular to the force, is this one over here. For the mg triangle, the distance from the point A, which is perpendicular to the force, is this one over here. Now I'm going to label each of these perpendicular distances. So we have 2a cos theta, we have a half a cos theta, and we have a sine theta. The RB force will take the ladder clockwise, the third mg force will take the ladder anti-clockwise, the mg force will take the ladder anti-clockwise. The clockwise moment is for the RB force, so we have RB multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is 2a cos theta. The anti-clockwise moment will be for the mg force and for the a third mg force. So let's start off with the mg force. mg multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is a sine theta plus a third mg multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is a half a cos theta. Now we notice a cancellation, the a's will cancel out. So this reduces the equation to 2RB cos theta is equal to mg sine theta plus 1 over 6 mg cos theta. But we know that RB is equal to a third mg, so we can replace RB with a third mg to give us 2 over 3 mg cos theta is equal to mg sine theta plus 1 over 6 mg cos theta. Now we notice another cancellation the mg's will cancel out, giving us 2 over 3 cos theta is equal to sine theta plus 1 over 6 cos theta. If I make sine theta the subject, I will get sine theta is equal to a half cos theta. Dividing both sides of the equation by cos theta gives me sine theta over cos theta is tan theta, equal to a half cos theta over cos theta is a half. Hence, we have tan theta is equal to 1 over 2 as required. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.